Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you guys had a safe and happy Christmas vacation. Today we have my top 10 discontinued or hard to find fragrances. As an honorable mention, I have Karl Lagerfeld's Private Club. This fragrance has been discontinued. It's basically a good copy of the regular Spice Bomb from Victor and Rolf. This is a kind of fresher take on uh, Spice Bomb, the original. Number 10 on the list, we have a toss-up between Pure Havan and Pure Malt from Thierry Mugler. These are two 3ML decants I have. Now, Pure Havan came out in 2011 and Pure Malt came out in 2009. With the Pure Havan, you're going to get that sweet honey, uh, tobacco, vanilla type of fragrance. Perfect for... Uh, to me, the office, you can wear it and to a date. Pearl Malt came out in 2009. Uh, it's that fruity, woody, whiskey kind of fragrance. Um, perfect for date night, in my opinion. Fragrances are becoming harder to find, but you still can find them in a, uh, or a fragrance shop. You might get it online, depending on like eBay. Obviously, for a higher price. Check your thrift stores or like an old fragrance boutique. Number nine on the list, we have a fragrance that's discontinued, but you can find it relatively easy in like the mall. This is Versace Arrow Flame. But the last batches that were made, uh, they're still widely available for the most part. This fragrance came out in 2018. Um, it's a shame that they've discontinued this. And they're focusing more on the EDT, the EDP, and the Parfum. They're going to get a lot of citrus in the opening for Eros Flame compared to the other flankers, but this does dry down to regular Eros. At number 8 on the list, we have Paco Ravon 1 million Privé. This fragrance is getting harder to find. Um, you're very lucky if you find it on eBay, but it's going to be really expensive. It's very similar to Killian's Angel Share and uh, Latafa's Camera. It's basically a cinnamon warm and spicy tobacco fragrance it's perfect for a date night uh, definitely if you can get a decant of this but at number eight like i said paco Rabanne, one million privé at number seven on the list we have another versace fragrance this is versace man this is a 5 ml uh, sample that i have here this fragrance came out in 2003 um, this predated what we have now from versace which is oud noir Versace Man is basically if you fused Oud Noir with Offrage. Uh, Offrage uses the same bottle style as Versace Man. But if you layer these two, you basically get the same thing as Versace Man. Number six on the list, we have none other than Mercedes Benz Club Black. This is a 30 ml decan that I have. This fragrance came out in 2017. This fragrance is basically a benzoin, amber, and vanilla balm. Uh, really good for a date night if you like vanilla fragrances definitely get your hands on Mercedes Benz Club Black alright guys now we're getting into the top five fragrances now all the fragrances on this list are great fragrances this this top five is just a little step above at number five we have Aqua Digio Profumo now with this fragrance you're gonna get a lot of citrus incense and C notes it's a blue fragrance uh, with a dark touch to it. Perfect for a date night. You can even wear this in the office. Now even though it's been discontinued, you can still find this online. The prices are going up though. Quidigio Profumo came out in 2015. Uh, very versatile fragrance. And perfect for a date night as well. Um, it's basically that original Aquadigio uh, DNA with incense. Uh, it gives it a kind of darker touch. And this one is definitely worth checking out in my opinion. At number four, we have a very well blended fragrance. Uh, this fragrance kind of blew my mind as well. This is Polar Red Extreme. This fragrance came out in 2017. I'm sorry that they discontinued this fragrance. I've only gotten my hands on this 30 ml decant. Um, it's really perfect for the date night. You're gonna get a lot of coffee citrus spices and woods if you can get a full bottle i definitely recommend this this is definitely a blind buy in my opinion 
but because this has been discontinued the prices are really high on this one blue red extreme definitely worth picking up number three on this list you probably know what it is if you're a fan of the channel this is chanel's allure Om edition blanche this fragrance is they say it's discontinued but you can still buy it on chanel's website for some reason uh, you can also purchase this in the airport in duty-free stores you're going to get a lot of citrus and vanilla in this fragrance also aromatic and it is reminiscent of a lemon meringue pie everyone uh, compares this to Roman Edition Blanche came out in 2008 this one is the EDP version and it does last about seven to eight hours on me now I do layer this with some ISO E Super the brand of the ISO E Super that I use is Tribute 8 I normally spray on the fragrance and then layer this on afterwards if you can get your hands on the Laura Ohm Edition Blanche, definitely check this one out. You won't be disappointed. At number two on the list, I also have another citrus based fragrance. This is from Guerlain, Lohm Ideal Cologne. This is a 30 ml decant as well. Now you're going to get all the citrus in the opening and you're also going to get some of that almond in the dry down. You're also going to get some musk and uh, vetiver as well. Uh, definitely get a decant if you can like this worth checking out perfect for the warm weather down it's a very refined citrus based fragrance definitely check out this one Guerlain Le Ideal Cologne at number one on the list we have Mont Blanc Legend Intense this fragrance came out in 2013 it's basically a fruity sweet aromatic uh, fragrance it's basically an intense version of regular Mont Blanc Legend a lot of people compare this to Percival from Parfums de Marly. I tend to think the same. Now Percival is blended a little bit differently, but you get the same type of vibe with uh, Intense. I would have wished they kept this version instead and did away with regular Mont Blanc Legend. If you can get your hands on this, definitely try it out. Um, I tend to think that it does smell a little bit uh, different but very close to Percival from Parfums de Marly. That's been my top 10 list of hard to find slash discontinued fragrances that I've got my hands on. Leave me a message in the comment section below. Let me know what fragrances you have that have been discontinued or hard to find. Remember to share what you like and like what you wear. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.